So my name is James Stanier, I'm currently um, Director of Engineering at Shopify and I wrote a book which is I think what we're talking about today called Become an Effective Software Engineering Manager and um, yep there we go that's the one it's the one with the flock of birds on the front. The chapter 10 it's called Humans is Hard and when I open that chapter it starts with the story of you're a manager or maybe a, a, a director or whatever and you're your you're manager so your boss is really upset with you because your team has not been delivering for six months and they're telling you you're not working hard enough and there's a story you're kind of like almost feeling yourself in, in the shoes um i've luckily not been in this situation but i've seen other managers be in this situation and then the book goes into like all right how do we get here and how do we fix it? And for example, in this chapter, it goes into explaining that as a manager, you're under way more scrutiny, uh, both from you know your your uh, your the people that you work with and, and your management. Uh, it goes into the upper you go, the more wobbly things are. You just need to you know balance all these things. The thing that I noticed in sort of my early years as a manager is that there are just these patterns that you notice. It's the same as writing software. There's software patterns. There's also patterns of organizational function or even or even dysfunction that you find yourself in time and time again and I think the way that the book was constructed was to try and make sense of those patterns that I'd seen and experienced and talk to other people and, and who's also seen and experienced them. I wanted to try and almost as a curriculum lay out here's all of the, the pieces of the pie that you are going to be expected to do and going back to your question about prescriptiveness the way that it's written is that I've kept myself out of it. It's very much a book about the hero's journey, which is you as the reader. Even if, if someone just reads the introduction of, of these, uh, the, these um, the, the book of these, like, I think, 20-something chapters, you just get an empathy of what it's like to be a manager, even if you're not a manager, by the way. I think this is a great way to think, like, do you want to be a manager? Because these are situations you're eventually going to find yourself into. So telling people exactly how to do a good job at a manager is impossible. Every person's different, every organization is different. And that's what I quite like about the book is that it, it recognizes that. And it's like, here's a bunch of tools. It's almost like a toolkit that I give to you. Use the tools as you see fit. And here's, here's some guidance. Well, I, I, I feel it's not fiction. I feel it's a bit like Silicon Valley when you watch the series, it's actually just real world. Like if, if you've been there, you know, you're like, yeah, this actually happened. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of jokes. There's little Easter eggs in it. There's little Easter eggs throughout the books, like the, the illustrations, you know, got my dog in there. I think the one thing that is important though, which is something that we did at Brandwatch and, and also we, we do it at Shopify too, which is that if someone is definitely high growth and really is intentionally wanting to get into management, you can basically come up with a safety net to say, hey, like, why don't we do this for some fixed period of time? Maybe six months, maybe a year. And what I have found, work well is having this apprentice manager title which is a safety net itself it seems it, it means you're you're not yet a manager you're in this like transitionary title and in the end you're either graduate or you will go back to where you were and, and delegation is such an interesting thing because it sounds very basic it's kind of like give someone some stuff to do and they'll do it but i think that's where managers get that wrong a lot because delegation is kind of an art and it's it's sort of a, a gradual spectrum where fundamentally yes you are giving people things to do but the important thing is as a manager that you are still accountable for those things getting done and I think that's where managers can sometimes get it wrong and they abdicate. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code book club. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.